hey guys welcome back to my channel before we get into this video pause make sure you are subscribed to my channel and make sure you have the post notification bells on so you won't miss another upload so as you can tell by the title of this video today's video is about my breastfeeding essentials so these essentials are what was either recommended by me and or items that I found useful based off my research. Um, I'm going to talk about which breast pumps I own and which breast pumps I like and which ones are my favorite. I am going to rank them and then we're going to talk about the essentials. So just a disclaimer, these essentials are what worked for me. Of course, you will need to see what works for you. I did get recommendations from friends. I am in breastfeeding groups um, on social media. And I did do a little bit of my own research just to see and try um, certain things just to see if it'll work for me. So this is not to say that these things will work for you. They are suggestions based off how well they did with me. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So I have four breast pumps. Yes, I know. Why do you have four? Why? Because technically I'm a new mom again. I didn't breastfeed with our first child. That's over 10 years ago. So breastfeeding is brand new to me. So of course everything is trial and error. But with my breast pumps, I use them all. But I want you guys to see which ones is my favorite and why. So the first one we're going to go to, um, I'm going to start, I'm just going to do them randomly. Yeah, I'm going to do them randomly. No, I'm not going to do them randomly. What I am going to do is show you breast pumps and the way that I rank them. That's what I'm going to do. So, I have four breast pumps. So, coming in at number four is this Medela manual breast pump. I was gifted this from my um, baby shower gift registry. So, I added it to my gift registry. Um, it's just your simple manual pump. You just sit, you put the pump on your boob and you just manually pump um i was recommended this by a friend um she told me this one will come in handy for if i'm like out running errands and i need to pump because i'm full and i hadn't made it home to get to my electric pump um i was also after doing research i also noticed a lot of people pack this pump to take to the hospital with them when they gave birth and i did the same so, um, I did try to use this one in the hospital, but at the time I was not producing any milk. So it really didn't do anything for me because I wasn't producing any milk. Um, and then once I did start producing milk, I did try it. This one hurts me. Um, I'm going to say it did hurt at the beginning. I haven't tried it as of lately because I now have my favorites. But this one really hurted me at the beginning. So once I figured out it hurt, I just never picked it back up. So I am going to give it another try um, and see how it works for me. But this one is definitely coming in at number four. And I can say the reason why it's coming in at number four is because I really do prefer the electric pumps over the manual ones. Um, I feel like I have to work too hard with the manual ones. But again, I'm going to try it just to see um, how it is now that I am two months into breastfeeding. So coming in at number two is this, I guess it's pronounced motif or motif duo double electric breast pump and this is what it looks like so this one i received free from my insurance so if you are currently pregnant and you do plan to um, breastfeed i highly highly suggest 
that you reach out to your insurance and see if you qualify for a free electric breast pump they will let you know if you qualify and then they will give you options so this was one that i picked on my own um they had a list of them so some of them most of them are free and then the more higher priced ones you will get a discount on them that's how my insurance worked um we have blue cross blue shield so that's how it worked for me um they paired me with the company that issues the breast pumps and then i was able to just choose which one i wanted and i did need a um a prescription from my OBGYN so that i can get the free breast pump so i don't know if it's like that for everybody but i do know it was like that for me so this one is currently coming in at number three it used to be number one it used to be number one and the reason why this one used to be number one is because the the one <laughs> that the other one that i have i didn't know how to use it so i had to get on youtube and figure it out and then once i figured it out i loved it better what i do like about this one though is that it is very quiet so um it's very quiet but the suction the suction it's not it, it has worn out and i don't know if it's because i've i used it a lot like i was using it from the time that i started um pumping breastfeeding until like now i guess and i don't know if i need to get new tubes or whatever but it's very quiet um that's what i do like about it the downside is now the suction it doesn't really pull like i wanted to pull um even after changing the phalanges out to the appropriate size it still does not pull the way that i wanted to pull and then with this one the battery dies rather quick so um like after two pump sessions my battery would die and then like if i'm in the middle of a pump session the battery it, it would just turn off because you need to charge it every so often and on here it says it lasts two and a half hours but you guys i literally um was pumping for a total of 30 minutes so after two sessions it would die so i don't think that's true <laughs> so yeah this one is coming in at number three it's really a tie between number two and number one um so i, I love them both equally <laughs> so um i'm gonna just say this one is next it is the eye care wearable electric breast pump and this one is really really good i was actually waiting to get this one before i made this video because i wanted to try it out and i definitely wanted to include it in this video what i like about this is that i can wear these and like you know i can wear them so you just take them out you literally just stick them in your bra here and you can wear them and like do stuff around the house or whatever the case may be one of the reasons why i got this is because it is very convenient when working so i work from home so i did not request um time away from my desk to pump instead i decided to opt for one of these and just pump while working so what i would do is um on my second pump session of the day during work i will put these in while i am on break and then when it's time for me to pump again i will just power them on what i like about these is that it's convenient it's very convenient um they're not super loud at all and they i mean i i pull the the same amount of milk as i would with my electric pump so 
at first i was so against these because i did not know these were a thing i was like what the heck is a wearable breast pump the first thing i thought in my head was what if the milk leak out um no i don't want that but then i started seeing them all over social media so i decided to look and you know google them and research them and these are actually very very popular this one was gifted to me um and i think it was a hundred and twenty nine dollars it was purchased on amazon so yes i really love it it has a long it has a a two hour battery life yes a two hour it holds a two hour charge i don't use this one often i might use it like once or twice a day um this one is specifically for work or if i am at home alone with the baby and i need to feed him at the same time that i'm pumping then i will put these on because i bottle feed so i mean it's coming in at number two, but it's kind of a tie with my number one. So, yeah. My number one is the Bella Baby Rechargeable Electric Breast Pump. It comes in this box. I love this breast pump. This is the one that I just had sitting in a corner because I did not know how to use this pump and I finally took the time out to YouTube it and figure it out. So what I like about this pump is that I was able to decrease my pumping time. So with the one that I got for free with my insurance, I was doing 30 minute pump sessions. With this one, I do 10 to 15 minute pump sessions, more so 10 minutes than 15 minutes. I'm doing 15 minutes if I'm just sitting there <laughs> and I forgot to take these off at 10 minutes. But they have a great pull. Um, you don't have to increase the settings so high to pull good. They have a great pull. Um, it's touch screen. This little thing is touch screen. That was one of the things I couldn't figure out either. I couldn't figure out how to turn it on and I realized it was touch screen. Um, it comes with the little clips so that you can pump straight into bags. So it came with these bags. It looks like it's about 10 bags and then it come with these clips so that you can clip it to the bag and pump express the milk directly into the bag so i love that option i've never used it because i don't really um store a whole bunch of milk i kind of i'm not gonna say pump on demand but i'm pumping just enough for the baby to eat for like one or two days so it don't make any sense for me to store it in a freezer because you can store express milk in a refrigerator for four days so yes the downside about this one it's extremely loud so if you guys seen my last video my two-month update i was pumping at the beginning of the video and i was using this pump <laughs> It's very loud so this one was also on my baby registry um, on Amazon and it was gifted to me this brand Bella baby also has a wearable um, electric breast pump I was trying to decide between this one and the one that I have by I care so I decided to just go with the eye care and I'm pretty sure the reason why I went with the eye care was because it was cheaper. So yeah, but this one is my favorite breast pump. I highly recommend. Um, but again, the only con I have with this one is that it is loud. So for reference, just go watch my last video, my two month update video. At the beginning of the video, you will definitely hear the breast pump pumping.
So those are the four breast pumps that I have, ranking one through four. Now I'm gonna move over to the essentials that I use to increase my milk supply or help increase my milk supply. Um, another disclaimer, there is a myth that you need specific foods to increase your milk supply. Um, that's not true. You just need to make sure you eat and you stay hydrated to increase your supply. Um, some people do benefit from other things and some people don't. Everybody's milk supply is different. I, me personally, I kind of pump just enough for about two days. Um, I don't have an oversupply. I have the perfect supply for baby boy. And it, you know, from one to two days, I don't really freeze much. I have a little bit in a freezer, but it's not much. I don't have an oversupply. But I did notice that before, for, okay, so it took me like two months. No, not two months. It took me two weeks before I started producing milk um, for the baby. And when I first started producing, I was producing like one or two ounces between both breasts at a time. So um, I, I did pick up some essentials. Well, I was actually gifted some essentials because I added these essentials to my um, baby registry. One of the things that you always want to make sure is to stay hydrated. So I just drink regular water, just regular purified water, nothing special. If somebody told you to drink a specific water, be my guest and drink whatever they recommend it. If it works, it works. But this water regular purified water from grocery store works for me so i just make sure i drink as much water as i can tolerate in a day since i've had the baby i have not been keeping track of how much water i drink a day i i'm literally thirsty all the time and i am a water drinker so i know i drink enough um and it shows in the milk that i express so if i didn't drink enough I wouldn't produce as much milk so i know for sure that i'm drinking enough so um besides water i was doing some research i think in one of the groups that i'm in they were raving about the body armor drinks the light ones because the light ones is low calorie no sugar added they taste the best to me like they taste the best the other ones the regular ones they're super sweet but the reason why everybody raves about these is because of the coconut water in these and some people say that coconut water increases your milk supply so i am drinking both of these throughout the day to ensure my milk supply is a one um i get i've tried every flavor of these and i love all the flavors i currently have two I think my number one flavor is the tropical coconut. Um, so it's more coconut in that particular one than a regular one. Because this one has like 10% coconut water in it. But yeah, I, I love these. So if you, if you breastfeed or you plan to breastfeed and you're looking for a way to increase your supply, try these. Um, I tried coconut water. I didn't really like it. The taste is disgusting so those work perfect for me because they have a different flavor and not necessarily taste like coconut water um another thing that i use is these little um milk flow electrolyte packs this was recommended i think my best friend recommended these to me they are just little um packs like this and this is the berry flavor um when i first tried these i poured this in an eight ounce bottle of water and it was disgusting so what i did was i had the body armor the berry flavor i think the strawberry flavor and i would drink half of my body armor to get it down to eight ounces and then pour this and the rest of it 
and this what I was doing at the beginning and I did start noticing you know um, increase in my milk supply so they did work very well um, another thing that worked good another essential is these mother milk oh, wait <laughs> is these mother milk teas so my best friend actually i remember her recommending this for sure um so i got a whole case of these and i'm a tea girl anyway so this was right up my alley what i would do is um when i was on maternity leave i would wake up like the first time the baby woke up in the day maybe like six in the morning when I warm up his bottle, I will go ahead and brew me some of this tea and I will add a little bit of honey in it and I will drink it. And I will have about two cups of these um, and water throughout the day. Um, with my drinks, I did not drink everything. And one day I chose um, water and then I alternated between the tea these little packs and the body armor so whichever one i decided to drink for the day typically like to drink these early in the day because it's hot i like to drink these if i'm doing um with my lunch or my dinner and same with these with my lunch or my dinner and i actually haven't drank any of these in a while so i think i'm gonna get back to these so in addition to that I have some edible stuff um these lactation cookie bites y'all these cookie bites are so freaking good they are the chocolate salted caramel cookies they are the bomb.com and i would eat these lactation cookies while i pump because um i also learned that it was good to snack while you pump and drink while you pump and i would eat these and they were so good but i honestly couldn't tell if they helped my supply or not <laughs> um they were so good though this is my last pack and they come in like a box of 10 but they're expensive um i think the box was like 25 dollars. so yeah very good cookies so if you want to try these and see if they work for you i highly recommend they taste really good they taste like fresh baked cookies like they're really good they're not nasty no funny taste or nothing and that's what i was afraid of that they have a funny taste no funny taste another um thing that i use that is edible is these little um pink stork like lactation sweets they're little hard candies and you just unwrap them and place it in your mouth you, you can eat one to four of these daily with these i would just randomly um pop one in my mouth throughout the day and they taste really good they taste like candy they don't have a funny aftertaste or anything so and this one is the watermelon flavor highly recommend especially if you like to eat candy <laughs> next thing i have is this liquid gold dietary supplement these pills are fat y'all and i'm not a a good pill taker i would rather have like a gummy like i'm gonna show y'all this pill is big it's huge and you're supposed to take two a day yes because it's 30 servings so it's 16 here you're supposed to take two a day i was only taking one um but i did notice that my milk supply did increase when i would take these i didn't take these often simply because i was on other supplements but they definitely help i seen one of my um friends on instagram rave about these so yeah they were very good all of this stuff can be ordered on amazon including these um because this bottle here i bought from kroger and it's smaller than the bottles that you get from amazon so you can buy them by the case on amazon and they sell these individually like 10 for 10 at kroger so whatever your preference is all of these pumps 
I don't know if the one that I got free can be found on Amazon, but all of these pumps can be found on Amazon. If I can find the links, I will link them below. Um, I should be able to go to my gift registry and find the links for all of this stuff for you guys. But um, yeah, these are the essentials that I use to help increase my milk supply. Um, again, these, these essentials are what works for me. And I will highly recommend that you try these just to see if they work for you, especially if you are a new mom or you are pregnant and you plan to breastfeed. Um, these will definitely help. And, you know, breastfeeding is so important for the babies and not everybody um, is granted the opportunity to breastfeed. Some people can't. I don't think I was able to with my first child. Um, I, I wasn't producing anything, but I'm so thankful and so happy that I'm able to do so this time around, especially with the milk shortage. And then with them pushing that milk out, you just don't know if it's safe because they're pushing it out. But anyway, yeah, if you plan to breastfeed and you need a little push or a little help, try DC Essentials and let me know how they work for you. Um... And really quick, did y'all know it was National Breastfeeding Month? Like this week, the week that I'm actually um, recording this video is National Breastfeeding Week. The whole month of August is National Breastfeeding Month. And then the last week of August is Black Breastfeeding Week. I just learned that. So I thought filming this video, which is right on time, I had been wanting to film this video, but I wanted to wait for this wearable breast pump to come in just so that I can give you guys full reviews on all of the breast pumps that I use. Um, but yeah, so if you are a breastfeeding mama, cheers to you. Um, awesome. And if you plan to breastfeed, I really encourage it. I highly encourage it. And just try. Um just try before you decide not to do it and when you do make sure you give yourself grace remember that your body is going to supply exactly what the baby needs so while you may think it's not enough it is just enough for the baby um in order to produce milk you have to push milk so you have to either put the baby on the breast and nurse or you have to pump because if you don't move the milk more milk will not come in so it's supply and demand supply and demand um currently i am pumping and feeding baby every three hours um i i pump at the same time that he feeds or right after he feeds just so that we can stay on that schedule even when i'm at work i'm pumping every three hours just to stick to that schedule to ensure he gets what he needs i found it amazing that when i started he was a newborn and he was drinking two ounce bottles and my body was legit producing two ounce bottles when i first started pumping so it was perfect for him then he jumped up to three ounces and then my body adjusted and started producing three ounce bottles now he is drinking four ounce bottles so my pump sessions go between three and six ounce bottles between both boobs per session so trust your body um us women we are superheroes we are amazing our bodies do amazing things and just trust the process okay i hope this video was helpful to you all um if you want to see anything specific as always drop a comment and let me know and until next time bye